All right, guys, today we're going to talk about what you can expect to see in a first year computer science course. For anyone interested for going to A&M, this is known as CSCE 121. But for everyone else, this is an introduction to program design and concepts in C++ or an official introduction to object oriented programming. So we're just going to give you a rundown of what you can expect to see in this course, as well as our perspectives with what it was like when we took it. Let's get right into it. All right, so with the uh, starting of an introductory programming course at A&M, you can expect to see in the first week a review of the uh, concepts, basic programming concepts, such as um, assigning variables and declaring variables, um, control structures, such as with iteration, and then function design. So basic for loops and while loops, these are all things that be covered in the first week. And then going into the second week, it's usually uh, abstract pseudocode, which is introductory coding into the concepts that you'll see in CSE 121. So after that, it usually comes down to uh, arrays. So arrays is actually the biggest topic in CSE 121. It's definitely a big one. And that covers the majority of the portion um, before exam one. Usually the first exam is just a review. It's an introduction to arrays and the function organization and uh, recursion also. Recursion is a type of uh, control structure. So yeah, so something that. to add about exam one is it's not necessarily about how much programming you know, like the syntax, like print statements, functions, all that. The biggest thing about exam one is just basic problem solving ability. You can expect to see uh, conceptual questions on an exam and you can also expect to see um, just writing code out so you really have to know your stuff for these exams they're not uh, they're completely manageable if you know what you're doing and uh, moving on after that uh, this is where the course the introductory course truly picks up in speed and I believe they start out with pointers and uh, two-dimensional arrays which is just arrays two-dimensional so think of it like um, let's say you have a timetable like how we did in elementary school, like where you have the one, two, three, four, like two times three, four times four. So basically just like, it, as it sounds, two dimensions. So what else do you think covers after that, after exam one? Oh, uh, well definitely we talk about file manipulations, like opening files, editing file, files, writing through them. So you can definitely expect uh, pointers and 2D arrays. Actually, uh, pointers and 2D arrays cover uh, the rest of the course. Pretty much. But in exam, uh, right before the second exam, there's usually three exams in the course. Uh, pointers and 2D arrays are the primary thing. In addition to that, there's gonna be string parsing and uh, file IO reading, if you guys know, with uh, other programming languages. This is something that you should definitely focus on. So you can expect that and the creation of structs. And usually right after that, uh, give or take, in an introductory programming course, they split it because um, from right here, it'll cover more abstract concepts. So up to there is where you can expect to be around the second exam. So yep. um, around here, there's usually a third exam or there might be like a final exam. Yeah. Some classes have two. I don't know how it works in those Yeah, it depends on which class you have, which teacher you have. Right. And um, you can expect to see exam three probably being, I wouldn't say the most, the most difficult, but yeah. it was definitely um, a bit of a challenge with the homework assignments. However, it's perfectly manageable if you use, um, if you understand uh, constructors and destructors. Usually, it's a little odd because you would expect to learn this in the review earlier yeah, if you had an true. earlier programming language. But since this is an introductory course, uh, you learn constructors and destructors, and that f carries right into the rule of three. What is yep. the rule of three? So this is a, I would say probably one of the more advanced topics of this course, because at the same time, it's trying to get you ready for the next course, which would be data structures and algorithms. But to go over uh, what you're asking, the rule of three is basically uh, consists of a constructor, a copy constructor and a destructor. So basically what it does is it creates a new object and the copy constructor itself, instead of creating uh, what you would call a shallow copy, it creates a deep copy so that whenever you adjust the original object, the new object uh, can either be changed or it can just have the same principles that it had before without you uh, having to change both at once. But this is pretty complicated, so I won't go too into it, but this is just something that you should expect to see by the end of the course. And hopefully at this point, if you've done everything else and you've been like grinding and learning everything properly, it shouldn't be too terrible. Yeah, and the uh, final concept in an introductory programming course 
um, is usually inheritance and polymorphism, also known as object-oriented programming or abstract programming. Uh, this involves the uses of classes and uh, objects and everything that you learned up to at this point is usually utilized in a final homework assignment. Then um, after this, you could expect the uh, final, not the final exam, but the exam three or the final exam at this point to cover that. And uh, you know, after inheritance and polymorphism, that carries right into data structures with uh, linked lists yep. and all that in the final course. But since this video is just an introductory, what you can expect in an introductory programming course, this would pretty much be the entire structure of the course. This is a rough structure. So what do you think that we can, what do you think are good resources that would have helped us oh, before so, the course? Yeah, for me before the course, uh, actually I did something, uh, I don't know if you guys have heard of it. There's this thing online called Udemy. They have these classes online Usually they're expensive, like 100 or 200 bucks. Yeah, I don't spend that much. They go on sale pretty frequently. So I think I got them for like 10 bucks or something like that. It was definitely worth it for me, but honestly, you don't even need to pay anything for that. YouTube honestly has a lot of resources where you can learn it. I highly recommend, like honestly, I think I was completely prepared up to exam one and maybe a little bit of exam two, just preparing beforehand in the summer, because up until then it's pretty basic stuff. If you had any exposure to any computer language, whether it be Python or like Java or anything else, like it's pretty simple. So you can expect um, anything within these courses and, you know, definitely using Udemy and YouTube and uh, even Khan Academy yep. uh, on YouTube free code camp is pretty great. Uh, Y'all should definitely check it out. And um, it's really helpful. My one advice or one advice actually is to definitely learn C++ ahead of time or whichever programming language you're going in your university ahead of time so that you can have a fundamental understanding. So we really hope this video helped yep. with um, what you can expect from an introductory programming course. Let us know how it goes for you or if you've already taken it, any suggestions. Um, make sure to like and subscribe and we will catch you guys in the next video.